Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2025. This is variant 2 2. You have been supplied with the following source files. I have the source files copied here. Task 1 Evidence Document. Open the file Evidence. Make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page. and you need to save this as evidence followed by your candidate number. So first we need to prepare the evidence document. I have opened the evidence document here. So first let's insert a header. Give your name and center number. And candidate number. Now let's save this. It should be saved as evidence followed by your candidate number. Save it as Word document. That's two documents. So we are doing document production task here. Using a suitable software package, open marathon.rtf. So open this file. The page setup is set to A4 portrait and with 2 cm margins do not make any changes. 4 paragraph styles are created do not make any changes. Save the document in your work area with the file name Marathon. So here you can see uh, the page layout is already set and we have four styles defined here. These are the styles, four styles defined. We are not supposed to make any changes to any of this. So first let's save this inside your working folder. The name of the file is marathon and make sure it is saved in the format of the software. So we are using Microsoft Word. So let's save as Word document. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. So open your folder. Make sure there is evidence of the file type. So make sure the file type is clearly visible. You can take a screenshot. And place it in the evidence document as step 1 evidence. Place in the header of the marathon document your name, center number and candidate number right aligned. So in the header you have to place your name, center number and candidate number right aligned. Go to insert header. You can choose this option. We don't have to add anything on the left or in the center. So you can remove those text. And on the right side, your name, center number, candidate number. Place in the footer, automated page numbers right aligned. Insert footer. Again on the right side, so remove these text. Go to page number, current position, you can add the page number. So you have your name and details here and the page number here. Make sure that all the alignments match the page margins, no other text or placeholders are included. And the headers and footers are displayed on every page. So we have done everything here. Next, at the start of the document on a new line, enter the title Marathon Information. So at the start of the document, you need to enter the text. So on a new line, let's enter 
marathon information. Apply TM title style to the title text entered in step 3. So select this text and apply TM title. So you can see the styles here. Click on TM title. The style name TM body has already been created and stored. Modify the TM body style so only the following formatting is applied. So we need to modify the style TM body. So this is TM body. Right click, modify. It should be set to sans serif. Phone size is 11. Alignment is justified. So sans serif, let's change it to Arial. The phone size is 11. There is no font enhancement, so remove italics from here and it should be justified. If you don't find the justify icon here, you can just go to format, paragraph, alignment should be justified. Also the line spacing must be 1.5 and space before and after must be 0. So line spacing again format paragraph. Line spacing must be 1.5. There should be no spacing between before or after. Both of them are 0. So here you can change it to 0. So it's done. Take a screenshot evidence to show you have modified the body style and the settings applied. So take a screenshot. Here you can give OK and then OK. So step 5 evidence the screenshot of the style settings. Locate the table in the document. Delete the entire column and contents with the heading rating. So this is the table. So the rating column must be deleted. You can select this column, right click, delete columns. Format the table, format the left column of the table so that it looks like the left column of this table. So you can see this is the left column. We need to modify this as given here. So first, Select all these cells. You need to merge. So right click. Merge cells. Now the text direction should be changed. Right click. Go to text direction. You can set it this way. It should be aligned both vertically and horizontally. So you can make it. Go to the table layout. Select this option in the alignment. Now the background should be black and the phone color should be white. I have decreased the width of this column a bit. Next, format the left column to have a width of 1.5 cm. So we need to make the width of the column 1.5 cm. So click inside this column, right click, table properties, column, the width should be 1.5. Give OK. So that's done. Take screenshot evidence to show the column width set at 1.5 cm. Place this in your evidence document. So what we did, we need to take screenshot. So 
So this is your step 8 evidence. Select the subheading history and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending their burst performance. So first let's find the paragraph. In order to find the paragraph you can just type the first two words so you can find this is the ending paragraph. So we need to Select from the subheading history till this paragraph. Change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a one centimeter space between the columns. So right click, sorry, go to the layout, columns, more columns. You need to select two columns and the spacing must be one centimeter. It's already equal column width. Okay. Import the image history.jpg and place it in the paragraph beginning. Legend has. So let's find the paragraph first. This is the paragraph legend. As here you need to import the image. So go to insert picture from this your folder. This is the image. Reflect the image so that the man faces the left. So select the image. You can see on picture format you can see rotate option. Here you can set it to flip horizontal so that the man place faces the left format the image so that it's resized to a width of three centimeters with aspect ratio maintained it is aligned to the right column guide and top of the paragraph starting legend the text wraps around the image So it should, the width should be 3 cm. So right click, size and position. The width you have to set it to 3 cm. Make sure aspect ratio is maintained. Give OK. Now go to wrap text. On picture format you can find wrap text. Make it square so that the text wraps around the image. Now the image should be on the right side of the column. So move it to the right side. And align with the top line of the paragraph. Apply the TM table style to only columns 2 and 3 of the table. So this is column 2 and 3. Select those columns. Apply TM table style. Make sure that all the text of each row displays on one line. One point black internal and external grid lines are displayed when printed. So select the table, you can give the borders, right click, table properties. Give all border and it should be one point. Give OK. Make sure all the words, all the words are on one line. There is a six point space after the table. So in order to give space after the table, select the paragraph below the table. Right click. Go to paragraph. Give six point before. So that there is a six point after the table.
spell check and proofread the document. The, make sure the table is not split over columns or pages. So you can go to review, spelling and grammar. Let's check the spelling. Spelling is fine. So nothing to change here. The spelling is correct. Make sure the table is not split to our columns or pages. There are no widows or orphans. There are no blank pages. So the table is not split. Now in order to make sure there are no widows or orphans. Select all text. Go to paragraph. You can see here line and page breaks. Make sure widow orphan control is selected. So if any widows or orphans are there it will be removed. There are no blank pages. The original styles are maintained. Spacing is consistent. Save the document and print the document. So you can save and it can be printed. You can select the print option and select the required print. So this is the end of the document production. Next task is database which will be done in another video. Thank you for now.